they keep driving their wastage or the toxic material into the creek area whenever there is a high tide and uh, they release their material exactly at the time when high tide high tide recede when low tide start all draining material is go into the creek through into the sea whatever fish have been died they go with the uh, low tide go into the sea submerge into the sea there are no any proof so that kind of modus operandi being uh, operational here in this part of the world and it's not that our community also providing helping hand to the culprits who for uh, taking some money they are availing this area to drain their uh, waste material toxic material because they can't afford to uh, treat them and release them into the creek that is very costly affair and it can cause uh, 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 the damage their profit so this kind of a uh, practice Uh, you can see everywhere in Urantaluka, and it's not that the authority know nothing about it. They know everything. 